Hey everyone, Snowflarky the Emos here with another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Close Call. This is a series in which I take duels that I've done, save the replays, and then commentate over them later, going over some plays, uh, namely to point out some not usual situations that occurred uh, during the game. This is my barrier statue deck going up against an opponent's element saber deck, a cool deck that you don't see very much, and does have a card that presents a problem to the normal bread and butter here. So let's get the game going. So, of course, uh, we're going first. Very important for this deck. We're going to start by playing our Pot of Extravagance, draw two extra cards, Solemn Judgment, Dark Bribe, Dimension Guardian, all great cards, Mage Power, and a Barrier Statue. This is kind of the ideal hand here. We're going to go into Pot of Duality, see what else we can get. Uh, we see a second Solemn Judgment. That is great, and I will have to say these Solemn Judgments, getting two of them, uh, definitely saved me this game. Otherwise, I would definitely lose. So I got the Mage Power. I got the Set 4. Very powerful. Nice Barrier Statue. I, uh, I flipped Dimension Guardian off the rip because I was trying to get my daily trap quest. So if they scoop, I at least wanted to get one trap in before they scoop. And, of course, uh, this is where the problem is presented because they normal summon Element Saber Mole, who I, I, I know a tiny, tiny bit about the Element Sabers. Uh, so I had to look at this card. Now, this call, I saw this card at a once-per-turn quick effect. Send an Element Saber from your hand to the graveyard to target a face-up monster on the field and change it to face-down defense. Oh, no. I got protections, but not from that kind of effect. So I actually need to burn a Solemn Judgment. I can't let this monster stay on the field. I need to uh, make sure that uh, you know my barrier statue stays up. And uh, that's going to be quite a bit of a problem. They play uh, Reinforcement of the Army, with add another one, uh, which makes me know that I'm going to have to deal with it next turn. And of course, uh, then they set a back row and pass turn. Um, you know, hopefully that back row isn't something I have to deal with. Drawing Heavy Storm Duster, kind of cool, in case they want to play some back row. I don't know at this point how much back row an Element Saber deck plays. But uh, here we go. I set the card, giving the 3,500 attack. They do flip Elemental Training, which doesn't really do anything in this situation. It makes it so that, you know, Palace of the Elemental Lords can't be targeted. And, you know, they tribute to Special Summon an Element Saber. So if they get this card off the field, it could be pretty cool. Otherwise, uh, you know, not doing anything right now. Uh, I'm, of course, going to pass back to them. They're going to summon the next Element Saber, and this is where the do double Solemn Judgment saves the day, because without that second Solemn Judgment, uh, they would definitely flip this card face down and probably proceed to win the game there, um, especially since I already have. Uh, I am just going to get rid of this card with uh, Heavy Storm Duster, because I uh, don't want it. I want to also get that done. I'm going to set another card here, 3,000 attack. That's pretty nice. All I have to hope is that they have not top decked the third of that Element Saber guy if they play it. And uh, they do go for Alistair the Invoker here, which uh, is kind of interesting. I know there is an Invoke Fusion for every type. Not that I was familiar with the Water one at this point. So I'm like, well, they technically could summon a monster. We'll see. Uh, I'm not too worried about it, though. Um, they do something with the Element Saber to make it a wind. I uh, guess trying to go into you know, a different one. But um, since it's water, they can only, of course, go into Invoked uh, Cockatus here, uh, which is pretty interesting. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen this one before this part. Cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects, and they cannot target it with card effects. And it can attack in defense, but it uses its attack. Uh, you know, 1800 attack, not that bad. Um, but I do know they have Alistair on hand, which they can, of course, add to their hand, give it a thousand extra. Still not threatening at this point. Then here they play Palace of the Elemental uh, Lords, which, uh, you know, is going to give it a lot of attack, 2,400. Uh, that on top of it is strong enough to beat a uh, Barrier Statue. Not that it would matter because, uh, you know, I have Dimension Guardian. They, of course, are going to go into Alistair here, give it some attack, and attack over my barrier statue uh you know it doesn't get killed because of dimensional guardian and then past the turn i think we should be in a good position here i'm going to attack and of course destroy this monster i top deck card of demise which is pretty nice get to reload now i have the second barrier statue so now i've locked them out of special summoning completely i got a protection for this one if it gets destroyed i got dark bribe pretty great pretty safe to you know have this game done and uh my opponent thinks so too and they scoop so yeah, a little bit interesting. Card effects like that that, uh, you know, target and they flip things face down are definitely very scary because they're not on a lot of things and I don't usually main deck the cards to beat them. I'm more concerned about protecting from destruction. 
So that was a very scary premise, saved by the double solemn judgments, and you got to be willing to burn solemn judgments on that. And of course, being able to dig uh, for the second barrier statue was nice. Card of Demise being at more than one on Master Duel is so nice for this deck. But uh, anyway, so that's the duel. Uh, you know, not too hard, but uh, a little different than normal. Thanks for checking it out. I'll catch you in the next one.